During a major multinational military drill in Australia's Northern Territory, an Australian Army Tiger armed reconnaissance helicopter was forced into a hard landing at the Bradshaw training area. While both crew members escaped injury, the incident led to the immediate suspension of the entire Tiger fleet and the launch of a rigorous safety probe by the Defence Flight Safety Bureau. This latest mishap has renewed deep-rooted doubts surrounding the Tiger platform's dependability and adaptability, especially under the demanding conditions of Australia's remote and tropical training zones. The Tiger ARH, a modified version of the French HAP model, was customized for Australian operations under a 2001 deal with Eurocopter, now Airbus helicopters. Though equipped with Hellfire missiles, laser targeting systems, upgraded communications, and twin MTR-390 engines, the aircraft has consistently struggled with technical and logistical hurdles throughout its lifespan. Designed to support reconnaissance and close air support missions, the Tiger has a top speed near 290 km per hour and a range of roughly 800 km. Despite this, it has been plagued by software bugs, component wear, and an over-reliance on foreign suppliers for critical repairs. Australian authorities have repeatedly cited the absence of in-country maintenance capabilities as a significant weakness, particularly when fast redeployment or extended operations are required. Following the Bradshaw hard landing, engineers are now combing through rotor systems and landing gear assemblies for signs of fatigue. The composite body of the Tiger, intended to reduce radar signature and weight, has previously shown susceptibility to stress fractures, particularly in rugged or high-frequency use scenarios. Previous red flags were raised after incidents in Queensland in 2019 and a deadly crash involving a German Tiger in Mali in 2024, prompting multiple allied nations to temporarily halt Tiger operations. The grounding comes at a critical juncture, as Australia begins phasing in the Boeing AH-64E Apache Guardian under the Land 4503 program. With a $4.5 billion price tag, this procurement includes 29 new helicopters, associated armaments, simulators, and long-term support infrastructure managed by Boeing Defence Australia. Unlike the Tiger, the AH-64E brings with it proven battlefield experience, advanced sensors, greater survivability, and robust local and global support channels. The Apache Guardian is engineered for the realities of modern combat and extreme environments. Outfitted with powerful GET-700, GE-701D engines, longbow radar, and networked cockpit systems that enable real-time data exchange and UAV control, it offers clear superiority in terms of performance and mission flexibility. Its rugged build and open architecture make it a natural fit for Australia's Indo-Pacific defence priorities, where resilience and rapid interoperability are essential. Australia's decision to switch platforms was driven by more than just hardware upgrades, it was about long-term reliability. Rotary wing aircraft operating in harsh Northern Territory and maritime conditions are subject to extreme thermal and environmental stressors, including salt corrosion and abrasive dust. While the Tiger's European lineage was ill-suited to these elements, the Apache has been field-tested in some of the world's harshest theatres. The Bradshaw event underscores the rationale behind Australia's shift in strategy. As the Tigers approach the end of their operational lifespan, expectations are that their flight time will be significantly reduced to mitigate risk during the transition. The Australian Army appears set on accelerating integration of the Apache, not only to close capability gaps but to future-proof its aviation forces. Now, pressure is mounting within Australia's defence establishment to consider pulling forward the delivery timeline of the Apache units. Originally set to arrive in late 2025, the first batch could come sooner if current Tiger downtime persists. Defence planners are reportedly exploring avenues such as increased foreign military sales assistance from the US, early deployment of trainer Apaches, or loaned airframes to maintain operational tempo during the transition. Ultimately, the hard landing in Bradshaw may prove to be more than just an isolated incident, it could become the catalyst that propels Australia's rotary wing modernization into high gear, ensuring that Army aviation remains equipped, resilient, and ready for the demands of tomorrow's battlefield.